Hello folks, QuickMind here. I'm back with Tobsy. We're going to co-commentate uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic again. Yep, finally. Been... Yeah, yeah, finally. It's, it's been quite a while. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it's a little more stable this time. Uh, I changed a couple settings, and hopefully that will allow us to run this without constant black screens. Yeah, as well as with the Windows 10 upgrade, we still had some, he still had some bugs to figure out because of the new settings and everything. So hopefully we'll be a okay this time around. Yep. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on. Yeah. And a little uh, update here. We got uh, a couple of uh, commentator. Uh, comments on the first video that we uh, that he uploaded and that is from uh, the silver priest he says to be honest LP of a heavily story driven game is not a very good idea well thank you for the input uh, what's your thought about that um, I'm sorry what was the comment again he says that, <clears throat> to be honest, LP of a heavily story-driven game is not a very good idea. Hmm. Uh, well, I mean, it's surely not for everybody. But, um... I, I don't know. Well, I think that uh, if we are going to do this, uh, when we are going to continue this, we might do... Uh... We might have a little discussion on what we should do with the uh, quests and stuff. And we're going to show uh, if we're going to show side missions and perhaps some Pesek playing on a separate video. That would be something. Um, you know, uh, do all the Pesaks uh, on the different in the different systems and the different planets. So. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, maybe not uh, lose the focus of the story so much. And that way, you know, if anyone's not interested in those kinds of things, they don't have to worry about those videos. So we'll see what happens uh, with the editing and see what... Because we have to do the side quests as well, because we need the levels. Um, so we can get do get better equipments. Oh, not better equipments, but uh, better skill sets and stuff like that, so... Right. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, yeah? Who's a user? I don't know. I don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I could try and help you out. Uh, what do you think well, about the Sith? <laughs> I ain't never left Tars, and they ain't never gonna. A lot of other folks are sure riled up about it, but I don't really know much about it. I prefer to keep to myself. But there's plenty of people at the cantina who will be more than happy to tell you what they think. Where is that? Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper street there. And, and from there, just head south away. You can't miss it. Okay. I feel very bad about him. <laughs> I feel I feel sorry for him because he has to clean up all the mess that we left with all the Sith right there. Right. Yeah, I'm like, I'm <clears throat> sorry. I don't need to go there yet. Alright, goodbye, dude. Alright, so let's go ahead and head to the upper level now. Now, let's see. Just in case. 
Ah, journal, journal entry. Yeah, we know. Oh, our, yeah. Uh, yeah, we know about the rapid transit system. <clears throat> That's a really good idea, though. Yeah. yeah it definitely makes uh, getting around in an RPG much smoother. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I just finished uh, Fallout 3 uh, and all the DLCs. I bought the Game of the Year edition. Uh, I also downloaded a mod, uh, Real Time Sellers. And We weren't talking to you. <laughs> Better teach you a lesson. That you'll never forget because, yeah. well, you'll be dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, one and two don't seem to really matter as far as what sounds better. We'll just go with number one. Yeah. I know in the second game... Uh, they make decisions like this a uh, lot more intricate. Yeah. Light side gained. <laughs> oh, they are. That was weak. Very easy. Oh, here's where I think we can offer. Yeah. Hand all of your credits over. <laughs> Here you go. The better question is, what's Davik going to do when he finds out these mercenaries are dead? Nothing. Oh, we got our credits back. Yeah, Good well. for us. Oh, joy. To be honest, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm just kind of exploring right now, because I don't remember exactly how to go throughout the game. Well, it's been like a year since we played it last, so no wonder. Yeah. Mm. And it's been a few years before that since I actually went through the game. Yeah, it's not that long ago since I played this. Um, this in Kotor 2. Uh, with the new setup that I got uh, from the community over at oh, Steam. Be nice mm -hmm. Because I bought uh, like the, a couple of bundles from there. <clears throat> what I really like is that they're the whole community just helping each other out, you know, fixing the problems and the issues. It's a good, good thing. That's awesome. And I read a while back that there was an official patch released for KOTOR 2, and it does like a whole bunch of things. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm going to see if they have... Uh, are about to have like a complete redo about uh, with uh, for coder one and two that makes the cutscenes more yeah cutsceney <laughs> but like that so you don't have to have like the skipping part like they have one part of the cutscene and then there's blank and then there's another part of the cutscene and then it's blank and then another part you know yeah. I had a lot, a lot of that in Coder 2, I remember, when you are going down to the uh, planet below in the uh, 
I'm not sure what it was called at the moment, so. Alright, so... Yeah, I don't know if I can actually give this guy money. How much was he asking for, anyway? 200. Yeah, we can fix that. I mean, you just have to go to one of those uh, bazaars and just sell some of the stuff we don't need. Yeah. Come on. Hey, man. Oh, it's a man, man. Yeah. Man. There it is. Okay. It's a luck footer. <laughs> How many credits do you have right about now? 126 or something? We got 135, I believe. Mm. What do you want? Well, you're the one that's wanting to talk. Uh, sure. That woman can't decide where she want to go. <laughs> yeah. I'm confused. I'm going this way! No, that way! Oh, I'm going this way again! Okay. Do -do 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 -do. It should have been my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty, but that shouldn't mean I failed them. Or I didn't. Yeah, no, I... It's not what I mean. I mean, I'm... I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense. The problem to mean well with your questions, I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Whatever. Whatever! <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's been a while since uh, my last uh, Let's Play video, so... I'm a mic... Oh, there's nothing to see there. Of course there's nothing to see there. There's nothing to see there. Time to kill some more Sith. You know it. Oh yeah. What's going on in there? If you've seen Star Wars Episode 5, you know a Sith question never ends well. Mm hmm. Poor Han. I'll kill you. Teach me, please. And I'll teach you how an awesome civilian defends himself. You're dead. And you're dead. <laughs> Let's loot his corpse real quick. Mm -hmm. We need the cash. Oh, he had a lot of stuff. Whoa, hey. There you go. Yeah, I'm playing this in windowed mode still, so it's kind of... Uh... Acting up, especially if I uh, lose focus. Let's see. The hidden backs. 
What are they planning? Can you take me to him? Yeah, you just <clears throat> put on the armor to get to the lower city, so... <sighs> okay. Well, let's see what's in here. Stuff. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Get away, Karth. There's the Sith armor. Yep. And that's about it. Yep. So what can we loot in here? A look for her. All right, two credits. I'm rich. <laughs> Woohoo! Excuse me, child. No problem. Got it. Oh, we will. We'll just leave them alone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they get pretty upset. And for uh, no, whoops. Oh yeah, I need to go this <laughs> way. But yeah, there's no reason to bother them. So I was talking to Tobzy before we started recording. I don't have Force Persuade yet. <laughs> oh, well, Persuasion is uh, one of your skills. So. Hey, hey, for a slummy, you ain't so bad. Come on, boys, this slummy's pie in the next round. <laughs> yeah, it's actually pretty important, especially in the second game. Yeah. Don't I know it. Maybe next time, slummy. Come on, fellas, let's go. <laughs> You're lucky I didn't kill you. <laughs> anyway, so as I was saying, um, I haven't recorded a Xenonauts episode a little bit longer than normal because uh, last time I saved, my computer didn't save. So uh, I had to restart all the way back uh, to the beginning of the last episode I recorded, and I'm working my way back up uh, before I record again. But I was pretty upset because I had only taken a short break and uh, I loaded up the game and I loaded up the save game and I even started recording too. And I was like, wait, this looks all familiar. Sure enough, my game didn't save after I re uh, recorded last. And what's also weird is the autosave for the battles didn't work either when I played last. So I don't know what happened. I think it's something called a glitch. Yeah. Pretty nasty one. Mm. 
I hate it when those happens, especially when you're when it comes to save games. Yeah. So, I should be able to record very shortly. No problem. No problem. It's impossible. So there is where you have to put on a Sith armor to get down to low levels. Okay. Yeah. And uh, do I? I need to put it on the. Before you talk to him. Yeah. So I have to stop now, put on the armor, and then go. Wow, that's some weak armor. What do you expect? It's a Sith. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. Check out my sword. Okay. No problem. Didn't work. Oh, he unlocks this over here, right? No, it's lo unlocking that elevator door. He still it's still locked though. No problem. Hmm. That's Weird. Strange. Is there something I'm supposed to do before I get this far? No, I'm. I'm pretty sure you can put on the. You're just supposed to put on the Sith armor and go. <clears throat> oh boy. Uh, let me just walk around. Maybe there's something I can do to help unlock that. Hi. Okay. Uh, let's just see what you have for sale. Let's see your droids. Uh, no. You're coming back here anyways later on. Yeah. To pick up the T3 M4 unit. <clears throat> He's supposed to help you get into the Sith base. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't really need to be buying anything. Yeah, go to your sell list and see what you can sell there. Maybe you can sell some of the uh, 
Sell the blaster uh, rifles. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you need those. Besides, now you have enough to uh, give that cash to that guy that needed, like, what was it, 200 credits? Yeah. But I can afford to pay him as well, so. I know, giving away like 300 credits altogether for helping out two guys that has something to do with Davik. It doesn't matter, because XP. Yep. Alright, we'll go ahead and hit that real quick, and then I guess I'll try to get back into that base. Or go down to the lower level. Yeah. But that that is really odd. I could have sworn that's all you had to do was put one of those suits on. Yeah, I know. You're supposed to, and you then you talk to him, and then you know, you just activate the the uh, the elevator. Don't click anything else. Just I don't think anyone can help me. I hope I've been hiding here ever since. You better. I like that points. See, I'm pretty sure I cleaned this out already. Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay. What I like about uh, Coder 2 <clears throat> is that you can pass like level 20 and you can multi class or what was it called? Yeah, I think, no, not multi class, but uh, you can get like a uh, class level up. So you can get a. Uh, I can't remember what uh, what the options was, but uh, still, uh, you're going the wrong way. Am I? Yeah. I thought the Sith base was that way, or the underground no, thing. No, that's to your left. I think I believe it was just across where from where you're supposed to go. So. Oh, where we were. New. No. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm sure confused. it's this way. My bad. It's all good. These are good. These are good. Look at my sword. My sword is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was. There you go. Excuse me. Okay. Excuse you. <laughs> yes. Open. E. I believe. Another patrol. You better. Yeah, there you go. Oh. <laughs> All I had to do was push R. <laughs> yeah, R. I'm sorry. I'm used to the use button as E. But yeah. There you go. Not change back oh, because geez. of reasons. Yeah. I thought it was one of those auto opening doors. But you was wrong. You taught him, didn't you? Oh man, if I could do those stunts, that would be awesome. Mm hmm. We don't! It really took him that long to say more strangers? <laughs> more strangers! <laughs> yeah. There 
Ooh, shock stick. Okay. And <laughs> that's about everything he gets. Okay. Ah! We battled three uh, bastards and just one of them had something to loot. Oh, great. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and what comes to my uh, let's play of uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown or Enemy Within, we had a little discussion on what uh, the uh, What the uh, what we what I could do and not do when it comes to the soldiers, like gene modifications and stuff like that. Do you remember those? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So we can. Uh, you told me that. Using those uh, implants, or uh, that mech suit, or whatever you're gonna call it, you wanna call it. Um, mm -hmm. If that was the same as uh, gene boosting, like heightened sensitivity and stuff like that. Um, no snipers, of course. That was one part of the deal. Yeah. And we're gonna keep up with that, but uh... well, the gene modifications and the mechs are two separate paths to take. Yeah, and it's so I... it's tough to say which one's better. Although the mechs start out really strong right off the bat. Yeah. Uh, reason put it, taking the uh, talking about this is because it's not long. Uh, in February fifth, I believe they're gonna release XCOM two. Oh yeah. And I've seen the trailer for it, and I've seen some game footage, and I've seen what you can do and what you what you're supposed to do and all the story behind it all. And I went apes. <laughs> I mean, oh my freaking gum! It's almost like playing uh, one of those aftershock. I believe it was aftershock. Or yeah, was, the yeah, UFO remember. after games. Yeah, uh, I believe it was aftershock where you're supposed to take back Earth. Yeah. Yeah. This is about the same thing. Only uh, you have like a guerrilla faction or an underground faction there that is helping to support your cause, which is just freaking awesome. And that mothership you're uh, on board, it was like, oh my god. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. Mm. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a let's play of that when uh, it's been re it's, uh, released. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pre-order like the best package that I, they can they sell so I'm heading over to uh, the mall tomorrow uh, one of them where that has uh, GameStop and I'm gonna talk to uh, the boss there he is he's an acquaintance of mine uh, I, they are really awesome up there you know really nice to talk to those people yeah I'm really interested to see what kind of different pre-order packages there are, if there are any. Hey, uh, hopefully that you still have the, uh, Go away. like, in the uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown, you had, like, this map of the base uh, that comes with the pre-order, uh, the collector's edition, which I ordered. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was kind of awesome. But I don't. Ho I hope they don't do the same thing in this game as well, because that will be just, you know, repetitive. I hope that you can get like, uh, I don't know, 
a tiny version of the ship that you're on in the game. That oh, would that'd be, be really awesome. cool. Yeah, that would be awesome. And you can like open the back side, uh, open the, uh, the middle of it, for example. And inside, you can have like the different corridors and everything. Yeah, there you go. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hang it up on the rooftop. I'm gonna play with it like every night and stuff like that. Oh my god, I'm gonna feel like a little kid again. <laughs> play with the Transformers. <laughs> right. <laughs> So uh, that's a big, uh, that's a big maybe. Um, hopefully, uh, if the save game is, I would go for. I'll be going now. I... You better leave. <laughs> You're really gonna do this, aren't you? No. Oh my god. <laughs> Smart. Yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty funny though. <clears throat> yeah. If I remember correctly, he actually is really hard. Yes, because I died so many times when I met him on Tatooine. I, I went over to, to, to Tatooine in the beginning, um, and <laughs> uh, we came out of that crate Dragon's hideout to get one of the star maps, remember? Uh, and he me. and a couple other like bounty hunters or whatever they were just waiting outside oh my god I actually rage quit I actually rage quit <laughs> as a first time in Coder I actually rage quit because of Kalo Nord oh like, man fuck <laughs> you know yeah I remember there was one battle where it took me a long time to get past it in that game and I, I forgot how I got past it now. <laughs> of course you did. Uh, well, first, uh, your first battle is pretty straightforward because the Sith just, yeah, yeah, works everything up. Of course, like a loser. I'm sorry, did you get your pot of coffee today? You didn't, did you? Uh, let's see... He's not listening to me, guys. What should I do? I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of skip through some of these after a few seconds. Because they always talk longer than it takes to read. Mm. Shut up, you're hot. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I barely got out of there alive, the last guy I fought. Oh crap, that was... Ugh. Oh, there's Largo. Oh no, not Largo from Monkey Island 2. I want Murray! Really helped him. I want Murray! Murray is awesome! <laughs> He's like the best, awesome, most awesome side character in any games I've ever played. It's like when I played Skyrim and I recorded some stuff there. Well, every time I saw like a skeleton header, oh, it's Murray! Yay! You know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, sure, I'm going. I didn't do those bounty, hun uh, bounty hunter mission, uh, bounty missions, anyways. I didn't see the point because you know it's a dark side quests, but you know. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Uh, mission Val. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath 
She's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a kid! Uh, well, you've proven that time to time. <laughs> That's racist. And besides, they're not green. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's racist! Shame on your mission, Val. Ah, crap, my back is acting up again. Sure. Hey, we speak the same language! Ooh! Basic. Mm. Q basic? Visual basic? Dark uh, basic? C, C++ I believe. Oh. No, C++, I'm sorry. Dude, you better get yourself a pot of coffee, man. Well, Me? otherwise I'm gonna start to yawn. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you some questions. That never sounds good. I'm gonna ask you some questions, girl. <laughs> Better answer them, honestly. Uh, by the way, uh, you got a Wookiee, so I'll be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. I, I believe that Kato Nord is like uh, Kotor's version of uh, uh, Boba Fett wannabe. Hmm. You know, it, it doesn't die in the first battle, you know, so. <laughs> yeah. I just hope that in Star Wars Episode 7, they actually get Boba Fett back. That would be interesting. Because, you know, there is a lot of fan fiction about him escaping from the Sarlacc pet anyway, so... Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> my throat. But I want you on my team. Later on. I mean, of course you're gonna help her get uh, Big Z back. No question about that. Yeah. Okay, that guy. Those that those guys or that guy? I'm not sure. Freaks me out a little bit. Yeah, that's definitely different. Yeah, it's one of those aliens you never see again. It's like. Why? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> GG. Good game. Well done. Yeah, excellent. I noticed your other head doesn't say much. <laughs> How would you know? <laughs> oh, look, he looks so sad. Like, Rrr, Rrr, kill me. I'm trying. Uh, your blade is going through my head, and I'm still alive. 
How is that even possible? <laughs> hey. Ah, uh, we love uh, some tweet like dancers. And yes, it's pronounced tweet like, not twi like, like some people pronounce it. Pronounces it. No, I don't know what you mean. You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done. I can't let her get away with what she did. That wife tried to cut me with a five-hole blade. Why would she do that? Sounds like maybe you got what you deserved. Again, XP. And light side. I believe. Should I try to persuade? Let's try it. Yeah, let's go for it. If I let her get oh. out, I was even worse. Not persuasive enough. Or I can kill him. Should I kill him? Nah. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, else. that's probably not very light side of me. No, I think like uh, I'm sorry. That's a big no no. Yeah. Yo, get back here. I'm gonna kick you in the butt. Did he disappear? I don't know. He's over there. I want my credits back. <laughs> Will you well, answer anything? Alright, so we're done with this area. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Well, I guess if we go back to the upper city, eventually there's a guy with a, f like a deck of cards we can get from him. Yeah. Uh, let's explore before we go in there. Uh, I can't see him yet. Hey guys. Are you ready to die, dog? Sure did. Obviously. All right. What's going on here? You guys are behind with your payments. So you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Gavik his cut? Okay. 
Okay. Do you want to play this the hard way? <laughs> okay. Tony Pudu. Rana no prata don't know. Sercha. Bichua penki. Wapama wama muli ra. Kenjun juba shab. No wapuli muli raji. Holy moly. Okay. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candy. You better get this over to Javik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on these payments. Hmm. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line. But Grezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. Who are you? you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Yeah. Okay, let's do some more exploring. Gotta love it. Oh, hello, Kalo Nord. Here's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. That's the plan. What's funny is, in actuality, getting hit by laser blasts like that would kill you quite easily, so it's amazing that a bounty hunter, like, with his skill is so feared, yet, like, you know, stormtroopers can't do a thing about it. <laughs> well, first off, it's, I don't know, reasons. <laughs> yeah. Not dropping anything. Come on, there we go. <clears throat> ah, much better. Yeah, unfortunately, having this uh, in windowed mode doesn't allow my cursor to actually hover over things correctly. Ah, you have some remains. Those are pretty helpful. Yep. Hey! Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Dang. Of course. Hit him. Why? Why? Shoo. Why even? Why even? Why wouldn't he just finish the job in the first place? I really don't get it. Oh, <laughs> yay, you level up. There we go, I got it. Okay, level up. <clears throat> Attributes. Uh, well, none of them's going to give me an extra modifier yet. No. Um... I don't know, I'm almost thinking strength just because I am going melee this game. Yeah.
but an extra defense rating could help eventually. But these points are highly limited. Yeah. That's a downside. But I don't... I say I should go for strength. I'll second that. Skills. Uh, you have two points. No, three points, of course. Um, yeah. yeah, of course, persuade is one of those. And the last should be in repair, I believe. That's one. Yeah, that's class skill. So that will that will work out perfectly. And accept. All right, we got uncanny dodge. Let's see. There it is. A character with uncanny dodge retains the dexterity bonus to defense even when surprised by a camouflaged opponent, and also gains plus two on saves versus grenades. Nice. That'll help a lot. Okay. Whoops. Please. Alright, let's go ahead and save. Okay. Do you think you can disarm or disable those main mines? Um. Shoot. Hmm. Oh, demolitions. So I have two. I don't think I should recover. I uh, just disarm. And it did not blow open your face. Incredible. Yep. Nice. That was very handy. <clears throat> Ooh. Is there anything else? <laughs> Get out of my way. There were some remains. Oh, I'm looking forward to Mass Effect 4. Yeah. Mm. I have at least the first two, and I've barely played them. <laughs> well, I, I kind of like those games, because uh, it's awesome. And yeah. It's, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Uh, the third one, though... Hey. Surprise, Mother Flipper. <clears throat> the third one though was a little airy, to put it mildly. I got the I completed that game and uh, I have it on my channel to complete. So um, there is so many games that comes out soon. These next couple of months, like uh, Black Ops Three. And Star Wars Battlefront 3, or just Battlefront, I don't know. And then you have... Hello. Hello, beautiful lady. Looking for you. <laughs> I wouldn't mind some of that. Say that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, I'm just exploring. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, uh, you know, <clears throat> going around stealing stuff and, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> well. Do -do -do -do. Uh, really? Yeah. No, don't attack him. Well, at least she won't attack you. Oh, well, now uh, she never is. mind. <laughs> no. There we go. Oh, Timber. But well, we didn't get dark side points, so that's good. Mm -hmm. I was trying to avoid fighting her, but she just had to fight me. Yeah, she just wouldn't let you pass. You got it. Nope. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you shall not bounce. Ooh, scope. Neural band. Would... Scope would be helpful to uh, Karth's weapons. Oh. Not usable by Wookiees. <laughs> well done. <laughs> you think? Oh my god, you didn't equip this energy shield yet? No. I, I really... I'm not a fan of using these. Just because the added effort to get them working, and the fact that a lot of times they don't do a whole lot. Mm. Well, that's true. That's true. Okay. Well, we've got some headgear on now, so that's cool. Uh, what's that song again? Dead bodies everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. A little fixer upper. Yes. Alright, that's oh, yeah. nicer. That's one of the downside on quarter two. You actually have to first click on the med pack and then you have to click yourself to heal yourself yeah that well i mean that was just like oh my god why i just uh, don't see the point no problem it is a problem yeah, yeah oh <laughs> great read the message Terrace is an Alderaan. Well, and it definitely Alderaan. won't be later. No. <laughs> hmm. I think you have to read the message because it's like Didn't work. a password encrypted. Ah, uh, no. There's nothing I can do with it right now. Mm. I think you actually have to R the box. Hey, guys. Mind if we just mose along in here, kill you, and loot? No? Okay, it's, thank you. The smartest thing to do is uh, to be a ranged fighter running into melee range. <laughs> yep. Oh, there's danger ahead? Well, not for me anymore. And Oops. R. R. There you go. Hmm. 
frei ist zu ernst das Passwort. Okay, Strongbox. Okay. Oh, ähm. Hyperdrive, wasn't it? I believe so, yeah. And that was my uncle? Hmm? Alderaan. Alderaan. Identify. <laughs> Yay. Oh, this is you. <laughs> Ooh, Republic mod armor. Let's check that out. So we're at seven and plus two, five and plus four. Hmm. Not yeah. much difference. It's upgradable. Yeah. But I don't have a way to upgrade it yet, so this is still better. Because my ma my dexterity bonus is only plus one right now. Yeah. Oh well. What about his armor though? Six and three. Yeah, it's his is still better. Yeah. So we just have to wait and see when we get to those. Well, you can upgrade at uh, at your apartment, I believe. Yeah. I think you had like an upgrade uh, upgrade table there somewhere. Did I get any parts that I can use to upgrade though? Yeah, I believe so, yes. Hey guys. Just attack. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's killing me. I'm gonna attack this other guy that's flying bastards. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Oh, good. He gained a level. Blaster turret. Oh, way yeah, over there. Yeah, you need the papers this time. You can't. You, it's not enough for the Sith armor. To get into here. Mm-hmm. So I, I I do need the papers. Yeah, but you get that from uh, those. Uh, what's his face? Oh, uh, that guy you're supposed to talk to down there. That I'm sure. You're just gonna help him first, getting some modification for that swoop bike of his, and then uh, he'll help you. Oh gosh. Um. Just that. <laughs> Heal yourself. Heal thyself, Junior. Hmm. Um Did you level up again or is it just me? What's that? Well, did you level up again or is it just No, is this it just is uh the other dude. Arth? Yeah. Oh. Um uh, I think if you go down a little bit, I think you can use the uh, aim, uh, uh, the aim, that one, yeah. Sniper shot. Yeah, sniper shot. Because later on, he'll probably get like a uh, better rifle. So, and with scope, that helps a lot, and it's more uh, accurate. Okie dokie. Normally, I just auto love them. I just let the computer decide what's best for him, because either way, it doesn't matter. 
Yeah. Oh, thanks, dude. Uh, I'm not quite ready to use that yet, though. I don't want to do that. We'll probably finish up here in just a little bit. Mm. Hi. Yeah, Hi. Hi. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I ain't no spy. You do know that in Norwegian, spy is the other, another word for puke. It's written really? SPY, yeah. Huh. It's uh, to, to throw up is to, well, speak. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. That yeah. So there you have it. I'm not a puke. <laughs> <laughs> Can I persuade? Whoops. Fail. I'll just talk to her, perhaps uh, she'll let you she'll let you in eventually. <laughs> you just lied to me, but there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Sound like the old Macintosh error message. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen that uh, game called Duck Game? No, I haven't. Oh my god, it's hilarious. It's just like a, it's a four-player shoot 'em up game. Oh, we are it, so gonna do that. We are so gonna do that. Oh yeah, Snark, It's yeah. uh, it's like a two D, Smash I Brothers. I think I've seen, uh, I think I saw Jack Septicai and, uh, yeah. Markiplier did a Wade, Wade and Bob, I think? I the think so. gang was there, yeah, I, I did see that. Oh, yeah, oh, God, I laughed so hard. <laughs> that and, uh, the Game Grumps, too. Mm. That was pretty funny. Yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, a uh, little announcement to make. Uh, if some of you know something about the old sci-fi series from the 90s called Babylon 5, I have, l last night I figured out maybe I should invite some people to join me. I don't know if uh, Quickmine will, but <clears throat> join me in building the Babylon 5 station real size on Space Engineer. So if you guys want to join up on that, that would be freaking awesome. I have sent a message to the creator of Babylon 5 uh, telling him my idea. I haven't gotten any replies yet, but we'll see what happens. But I want to do that. I really want to do that. And it'll take a long time. So if you have the patience and you really want to join me and some other people, Perhaps I'm going to send messages to those uh, people that I have on my friends list on uh, Steam and uh, uh, telling them about my idea, uh, especially those who have space engineers, and do like a whole group thing where we build a freaking space station that is like, I don't know, I do have a, sp I actually found the spe uh, spe specifications for the schematics, I'm sorry. For the whole station, if I'm gonna, I just need to find it first. So, if you want to join in on that, that would be freaking awesome. Let's see. Yeah, that sounds like an awesome idea. So, if you want to join up on that, let me know. Or let Quick I know. And uh, we'll. Uh, get into it as soon as I have set up everything because that will be many hours and a lot of things to do let's see I can where did I put that
Okay, so <clears throat> length eight point eight thousand and sixty four point five meter length. Nice. Yeah. So if you think one block is like one meter, it's like almost eight thousand of those blocks and then some in length. And that's the base. Uh, that's the base of uh, of it all. Because we're gonna start at one point, and we're just gonna just build the blocks in one straight line until, and then we just build around it eventually. Because we have a lot of stuff, especially when it comes to uh, solar panels and defense grids. It's like 840 meter diameter. Let's see. Uh, five mile long. About. 850 meter in diameter. 9.1 billion ton. So it's. It's huge. It's freaking huge. And uh, there will be a lot of time and patience when it comes to this project. Because, you know, I'm going to record it. And if you guys who watch this also has a YouTube channel and do, do some recording yourself, you can always, we can always add, uh, we, you can always upload your views when you're building it. So if you want to join in the project, let us know. And hopefully we'll g I'll get a reply from Straczynski. I can't pronounce if I'm pronouncing his last name correctly. I'm not sure. Uh, it's a sort of a dedication thing project because my grandfather, while he was uh, lying in the hospital bed, he watched every Sunday when we came to visit him. We. Uh, he was lying in the, on the bed watching Babylon 5. That was the first time I watched it, so I was <laughs> sitting on the, his bedside and watched it with him. And I'm like, oh my god, I was mesmerized. It was great. <laughs> it was awesome. It's a, it, it's a great series. And, you know, we, we can always add stuff later on because there's, I mean, there's a lot of things uh, going into this project because it's not, you know, just build it and done with it because we have to go into details. Mm hmm. Well, like where the power uh, power supply is supposed to be, and you know where we can get the car going and how to get <coughs> materials to the uh, to the engine, you know, and you know it's a lot of stuff to go into. So it's just not enough with one guy or two guys doing it together. You know, you have to have some. A, a small group that is collecting materials, a small group that is creating the materials that we need to build a station, and we need someone to oversee the project, so, you know, and, uh, you know, so, there you go. Good deal. Yeah. It would be great fun. I think it would be great fun. I mean, there's a lot of people as space engineer right now. I also uh, commented on the... Um, Babylon 5 page on uh, Facebook uh, announcing my idea and there was a lot of backups there so so we need someone who can make like a 3d model of the uh, station and someone who can create like a skin with the Babylon uh, B5 patch on the spacesuit and you know so Perhaps some modifications comes into play later on, I'm not sure. Alright, well I think Tobsy and I are going to go ahead and uh, call this quits for now. Yep. <clears throat> but, uh, I know it's been a long time since we last recorded for this series, but uh, this went so well that I'm sure we'll be able to get uh, a lot more recording done a lot, way, way more quickly. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so, absolutely. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.